from East Flat Rock, North Carolina, we welcome you to Faith in God Missions with the Reverend Steve and Frida Bishop. This program has been paid for by Faith in God Missions, a ministry working to feed the hungry, clothe the naked, and preach the gospel in the United States and the foreign fields. Join us now as we worship the Lord together in word and song. friends, thank you for joining us today on Faith in God Missions. I'm Eileen, and today I have a Christmas poem to read to you. It's called, Twas the Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas, God glanced over the earth, and looked to and fro all over its girth. They missed it again, he said with a sigh, a heavy heart and a tear in his eye. I gave them my son, so that they could be free, my greatest gift to them from me. They traded me in for a man in red, a little tree, and a horse-drawn sled. My love is complete. My grace is free. How do I help them when all they know is a talking snowman and a box with a bow? Maybe next year they will stop and see that the greatest gift of Christmas is the little child from me. Merry Christmas! so far. They heard about a birth there, an anointed holy one, born to be Messiah, God's only begotten son. That little baby, he was born of a virgin, he was sent down to save us and to bear every burden, he was God in the flesh, so let the hallelujah scream. That little baby is the king. Now angels were descending on that bright and starry night. Shepherds came to see that child beneath that star so bright. That baby in a manger in that little Jewish town. One day we'll rule the universe, creation will bow down. That little baby, he was born of a virgin, he was sent down to save us and to bear every burden. He was God in the flesh, so let the hallelujah ring. That little baby. Born of a virgin, he 
standing here today and we want to bring to you an announcement. Time is ticking away. That's right. Christmas is getting close <laughs> and we, we've got to get some funds raised for food for a special Christmas dinner for our missionaries and their churches yes, and their the families. In the foreign yes, countries. The foreign countries. Uh, is where we send the funds to and uh, they have to go and get food and start yes. preparing, uh, start buying the yes. stuff. Uh, that they need for their special Chris, uh, Christmas meal. And so we want to invite you to join to feed a special meal, yeah. uh, to feed a special meal there in the farm fields uh, for the children and the adults. And uh, this is a special time that they look forward to every, every year. year. Uh, you no, know, we, we can't be there during that time. That's right. And, and they may not be able to be there at the time. But while they're having that meal, our missionaries are able to preach to them yes. of God's love yes. and what he did for them on Calvary. Yes. And they do share the gospel with yes, them they do. Uh, when they go uh, out to feed them. And so if you would like to join with us and help us, uh, it's a $1.50 uh, per plate that they can join in and have a special meal. $10 will feed six people. And most of us can afford $10. Right. But we, right. a lot of a lot of us spend more than that just on coffee or soft drinks. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That's definitely soft drinks. But if you can join with us, however many you would like to feed, uh, write the check out to Faith in God Missions, and down at the bottom, just write for Christmas meals, and then we'll know exactly where the funds go. Right. And so, and a lot of people send a note in, Stephen, say, "I know this isn't much." If you ever, just give ever a little bit help, exactly. little as much when God is in. That's right. And if you just send a dollar and a half, that's yeah. one meal. That's one meal that someone is getting. So join with us uh, this year for a special Christmas uh, meal to feed the hungry, and uh, they send it to. Just make you check out the Faith in God Missions, PO Box G, East Flat Rock, North Carolina, two eight seven two six, or they can go online. And donate online to faithingodnc.com. Yes. Scroll down to our donate page, and we can see those funds instantly. Right. So just pray about it. Ask God what you can do to help feed the hungry for the Christmas season. Again, that's Faith in God Mission, P.O. Box G, East Flat Rock, North Carolina, 28726. God bless you. God bless you.
wonders that she looked on his face that this little boy spoke the worlds in their place the stars and the moon shining brightly on them the earth and the sun were created by him the wonder of wonders oh how could it be that god became flesh and was given for me the almighty came down and walked among men the wonder of wonders he died for my sin The wonder of wonders As she looked down and smiled He was her maker As well as her child He created the womb That had given him birth He was God incarnate Come down to the earth The wonder of wonders Oh, how could it be that God became flesh and was given for me? The Almighty came down and walked among me. The wonder of wonders, he died for my sin. As she heard his small cry, this voice had thundered on Mount Sinai. His small hand she held so tenderly, had made a dry path through the mighty Red Sea. The wonder of wonders, oh how could it be? That God became flesh and was given for me. The Almighty came down and walked among men. The wonder of wonders, He died for my sin. As she heard his small cry, this voice had thundered on Mount Sinai. His small hand she held so tenderly, had made a dry path through the mighty Red Sea. The wonder. Of wonders, oh, how could it be that God became flesh and was given for me? The Almighty came down and walked among men. The wonder of wonders, he died for my. Hey friends, Fred and I are here with you today, and we're going to be talking about something to keep you warm. Blankets. 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 You know, that's not the only thing to keep you warm, though. Lord, keep you warm. That's right. But we're going to talk about blankets today. Well, we're talking you about know, the physical warmth. The, the physical warmth, yes. And we're, we can purchase these blankets in bulk. Mm -hmm. They're individually wrapped. Yes. They're brand new. We can purchase them in bulk, and we can get them for around $5 a piece. Yes. It's about what it costs time we get them to the different countries and time we, we give them out each, each place, whether it be yes. in America at the homeless shelter, that are people on the street that's homeless, or whether it be for disasters. You know, we, we're still around $5 a piece. Yes. You know, if anybody wants to help us with that now, they can do that. Yes, and all they have to do is send a check, or they can go on our email 
and uh, they can donate off of our email or our website, I'm sorry, off of our website and it will go into a donate page and then you can go on there and you can put the money and funds in yeah. there. But send a separate email so that we know you want it for blankets. Right. I'm sorry you have to do that, but we haven't got some things fixed yet. Um, also, uh, you can send a check to uh, Faith in God Missions, Post Office Box G, East Flat Rock, North Carolina, 28726. And Steve, besides buying blankets, we, we have make homemade. homemade blankets. Yes. And these are, uh, we have some uh, ladies every year, Mm -hmm. That makes us some homemade blankets and some pillows. And uh, we take these there's as well. Right here. Yeah, there's a pillow. Well, there's our granddaughters one. made these. Yeah. So we have to tell who made these. They were at the house and found some material that I had put back in the corner. And they said, we can make blankets for the mission field. So um, we were on a mission work last January, February yeah. at the house when the girls came by. They were sewing some blankets and sewing some uh, pillows and so also um they like baby baby blankets, baby blankets. Yes. and so if you have some material you ladies have that that sewed and have some materials laying around the house and you want to make a blanket or a little uh quilt type for the mission field um we can use it yes. uh, and uh just or some they pillows just need to be new or some pillows yeah we take everything new um, and some people, Steve, have purchased like throws right. and sent them in to us. Um, and here is another uh, blanket uh, that someone had made, a little uh, more like a quilt type. And that would be a good size for a small child. And so if you would like to help uh, either purchase uh, blankets, then we need to get the funds in. Yes. And we take these uh, when we go uh, to Mexico. We right. take these down there and they give them out. Uh, we even take them when we have services down there. We take them and we give them out after the service, uh, give them to uh, the people there. And also, uh, like you said, for the U.S. here, for mm -hmm. disasters, for the homeless here, uh, we take and uh, give them blankets at the wintertime. So you can be a part of that because this is part of Faith in God Missions, and you can be a part. And so we want you to join us and pray about it. And if you want to purchase yeah. blankets... $5. Five dollars a piece for the blankets. You know, I don't think you can beat that. No. I said, we buy them in bulk. We buy, yes. get them by the thousands. And they're already packaged. And they're already packaged up. And, and they come in the box. Go. And when we, when we load, we can just put that whole box, several yes. boxes. Several boxes. Of them. Um, because they, all, they only have so many in each box. But they're good sized boxes. And we can shove them on the trailer and have them ready to go. And so you had another idea. And if you want to, make a, if you want to help purchase these. You can send that check to Faith in God Missions, mm -hmm. P.O. Box G, East Flat Rock, North Carolina, 28726. Or you can go on our online donate yes. to faithingodnc.com. Just go to that donate page, yes. and click it, and you can donate right there for the blankets. And we receive those funds instantly, right. by the way. And also, Stacy will be putting uh, on our website, on our project page, We'll be putting all of this, uh, our meals, our blankets, yes. our, our gift bags. We'll be putting all that information on our uh, right. website as well. But we're talking, er, earlier you and I were talking, we were talking about scarves. Scarves we've had, we, and toboggans. And toboggans. <laughs> we, we've had people make scarves, and they love those scarves. Yes. And they love those yes. toboggans. Yes. Because it does get cold. You yes. say Mexico, it's not getting oh, cold. Oh, yes, Mexico, it does. <laughs> because you're down south, but it gets cold. Yes. You know, it, it may not be cold to us all the time. 50 degrees or 60 degrees, it, it might it's be cold, cold to them. <laughs> but it's extremely cold to them. But yeah. we've been there for it. It's been in the 20s and it's yes, been in the 30s. And it's really cold for us. <laughs> yes. We keep on a coat the whole you time. Keep on a coat service. for the whole service. And that's where these blankets come in yes. handy. That yes. you, they just wrap up in those blankets when we're having service. Yes. Uh, the toboggans or that mm -hmm. scarf when we're having service. Yes. You know, yes. We need to show God's love. Yes. And, that, and that's a, a good way to show God's love. Yes. When people see that you love them enough that you, you give them some things that they need, yes. like for food yes. or the blankets, Something to help keep them warm. Yes. Something to help keep the bellies full. Yes. They're going to listen to what you got to say. Yes. Years ago, I used to wonder, you know, why, why are, do people always expect to eat when they get to come to church? But, you know, I found out something. When somebody's hungry, they don't listen to nothing you've got to say because they're hungry. Yes. They're thinking about finding something for them to eat. But when they know that you're going to give them food, they're going to listen to what you've got to say. Yes. Whether you feed them before church or after church, they're going to listen. Yes. And they have an open heart. 
to have here and ears to hear what the Word has to say. And you'll be surprised at how many people come to know the Lord just because we're showing yes. God's love to them. Yes, yes. And it's, it's important uh, that we do, Steve, because just like the Bible said with the Good Samaritan, yes. uh, the priest and the Levite went over this man and looked at him and said, I don't want to touch him. I don't want nothing to do with him. And they walked away. Yeah. Those were Frida's interpretations, by the way. But the, the Good Samaritan came by, and he took him to a place and told him to take care of him. And he even uh, paid out of, right. his, out of his pocket for them to take care of him. And that's what we're to be. We're to be that Good Samaritan. Uh, as we uh, follow Christ and as we see people in need, then we're supposed to help. Yes. Uh, those that we know that are in need. So if you would like to be a part of the blanket drive, uh, then uh, you can send uh, $5 for each blanket to Faith in God Missions, Post Office Box G, East Flat Rock, North Carolina, 28726. If you would like to make us some uh, blankets, uh, some pillows, yes, uh, we still have, uh, we, we take the pillows in as well. We have uh, people that does this for us throughout the year, and uh, then they get them to us. And, uh, you know, we appreciate that because that's their yes, labor of love uh, that, that they are doing. You know, they're taking their time, and, and they're doing this. And you know, I, let me interrupt right there for you. I've had some widow ladies, so I don't have much, and I can't give much. But so I know how to sew, and yep. I can make those blankets. That's right. Or I can make a baby blanket yep. that's and, right. and, and do my part. That's right. You know, and God honors that. That's God right. honors that. He, he will honor them just as much as if they were sending yes. the funds. And so we do appreciate that and appreciate what you do. We love you, and we appreciate all that you do. Let's give the address. One more where time. They, where they can send the stuff to. Faith in God Missions, Post Office Box G, East Flat Rock, North Carolina, 28726. Your donations or your uh, blankets you want to send, your tote bargains or whatever, all goes to that address. To that address. And they'll, uh, they'll see that we get it. So thank you so much for all that you do. Uh, visit our website because yes. there's a lot of information on That's there. FaithinGodNC.com. Thank you. Uh, and there's a lot of information on there. Our newsletter is on, on there. Yes. Uh, and then you can our go. Our current projects are on there. Yes, and Stacy's putting our current projects on there. And uh, you, you always come through, and we appreciate all that you've done for us throughout the year. Uh, those that support regularly and those that send uh, here and there, you know, it's still appreciated because you're you're obeying what God wants you to do. And we do thank everyone that gives because yes. uh, you're uh, you're faithful with your giving and your prayers, and we do appreciate it. Right. So from the bottom of our heart, we appreciate. Yes. it. Yes. So keep us in prayer. And keep our projects in prayer and keep the missionaries in prayer uh, because they need it as well. Yes. And so we thank you for listening today, watching today. Uh, so just join us in with this, and uh, we hope to see you soon. God bless Next you. Next time. When he came to the lonely manger, didn't he shine? When he came to a lonely manger, didn't he shine? There was just one reason why he came to earth to die. Oh, this precious rose of Sharon, didn't he shine? When Jesus cried, Father, forgive them, didn't he shine? When he cried, Father, forgive them, didn't he shine? Early on that Sunday morning, a new world was dawning. When he rose up from the grave, didn't he shine? Well, didn't he shine? Didn't he shine? When my soul was out in darkness, didn't he shine? Oh, but when I cried for mercy, I felt his arms around me. When he saved me, hallelujah, didn't he shine? Resurrection morning, he's gonna shine. On that resurrection morning, he's gonna shine. And when he comes in clouds of glory, we'll be glad we heard the story. On that resurrection morning, he's gonna shine. Now, when they crown him Lord of Lords, he's gonna shine. And when they crown him King of Kings, he's gonna shine. And won't that be a happy day? When at last we're home to stay, when they crown him Lord and King, he's going to shine. Well, didn't he shine? Didn't he shine? Didn't he shine? When my soul.
soul was out in darkness, didn't he shine? Oh, but when I cried for mercy, I felt his arms around me. When he saved me, hallelujah, didn't he shine? Oh, but when I cried for mercy, I felt his arms around me. When he saved me, hallelujah, didn't he shine? Didn't he shine? Hey. Now when they crown him Lord of Lords, he's gonna shine. You imagine that day. And when they crown him King of Kings, he's gonna shine. And won't that be a happy day when at last we're home to stay? When they crown him Lord and King, he's gonna shine. Well, didn't he shine? Didn't he shine? When my soul was out in darkness, didn't he shine? Oh. But when I cried for mercy, I felt his arms around me. When he saved me, hallelujah, didn't he shine? Now when they crown him Lord of Lords, he's going to shine. And when they crown him King of Kings, he's going to shine. And won't that be a happy day when at last we're home to stay? When they crown him Lord and King, he's going to shine. Well, didn't he shine? Didn't he shine? Thank you for joining us today. This program has been paid for by Faith in God Missions of East Flat Rock, North Carolina, a ministry that's working in the United States and the foreign fields. Please send all correspondence to Faith in God Missions, Post Office Box G, East Flat Rock, North Carolina, 28726. Or visit us on the website at faithingodnc.com. You can also find us on Facebook at Faith in God Missions. Until next time, remember, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son.